Hello, my name is Dr. Brendan Beatty, and I'm an emergency physician in Austin, Texas. Today I'll be sharing how I use Visible Body's Human Anatomy Atlas to quickly help patients visualize and understand their diagnosis. I often have patients present with sudden flank pain and vomiting. A common differential diagnosis for a patient with these symptoms is kidney stones. In a busy ED, I only have a few minutes to explain what is happening to my patients. With that limited amount of time, I take out my iPad and show them what is going on in real 3D. The best place to start is looking up the app's preset views, which are filed by body system. By tapping the urinary system icon here, I get a screen full of choices. Now, the app defaults to views of male urinary system structures. If your patient is female, just tap the gender icon below and you'll find the female model set and the related views. In the following example, we'll say the patient is male. I'll just tap the gender icon to return to the male urinary system, and I then select the views of the kidney. I start the conversation by giving my patient a visual of what the kidneys look like, and I rotate the view 360 degrees. I zoom out and show these organs in relation to the whole body. I might begin my conversation with something like, the kidneys filter waste from the blood and it passes out of the body in urine. Next, I would pan out to show the path of the urine. I may want to make the image even clearer for this quick anatomy lesson, so I remove the musculature. Go here to the system tray and tap on the muscle icon. You do this when adding or removing body systems. Returning to my conversation, I'd say something like, you are having this pain because you have kidney stones. These stones are usually calcium salt particles that have crystallized and solidified slowly in your kidney over years. Then, I zoom in on the kidney to view a cross section so I can show my patient where the stones form. Just double tap for a closer view of the kidney, then select hide to get inside the kidney itself. I'd continue with, the kidney stones form here in the kidney and they're moving down the ureter. In your CT scan, we saw that you have a stone in the ureter and the passage of the small stone through the small ureter channel is causing all of your pain. Most stones slowly work their way down and out into the bladder on their own. Once the stone moves into the bladder, the pain should stop. If they are too large, they may get stuck and the urologist could remove them either with sound waves or surgically. After supporting my verbal explanation with these visual 3D models, I then refer to the Library of Pathology Animations. I want my patient to see what kidney stones actually look like so he can better understand the cause of his abdominal pain. After clicking this icon, select at the category of animations you want. Here you'll find the selection of digestive and urinary system pathologies, and here's the kidney stones animation. Now, I'll take my patient back to the view of the kidney to talk about the next steps. Imagine being able to educate your patients this well with only the few minutes you have to spare. It sure makes my shift feel shorter and more rewarding. And importantly, the patient has a much clearer understanding of their problem and the likely resolution. Thanks for joining me today to see how easily we can use this technology to educate our patients. And welcome to the future of medicine.